Have you seen these glasses in which it seems like there are two kinds of lenses? They're called as bifocals, two lenses. But why would people use them? Well, these are used by people who are suffering from an eye condition called the presbyopia. Due to this, they are unable to see things clearly which are close by. Now, this sounds very familiar to another eye condition that we might have learned, hypermetropia, farsightedness. Even in that condition, people can see things far away, but they are unable to see things clearly which are close by, right? Well, the effect is the same, but the cause of that is different, and that's why they are named differently. So the cause for presbyopia is the loss of accommodation power. So let's explore this in detail now. First, let's recall what accommodation is. Accommodation is where our eyes adjust their optical power depending upon the viewing distance. For example, if you're looking at things which are far away, the rays of light from that object would be pretty much parallel to each other. And now to focus them onto the retina, notice the bending required is pretty small. So the optical power needed is pretty small. And as a result, our eyes will be relaxed. But if you're looking at things which are close by, now the incoming light is no longer parallel. They are diverging away. And as a result, to again focus them onto the retina, notice now the bending required is more. And so more optical power is needed. This is now achieved by the ciliary muscles over here, which are not shown in the diagram. These ciliary muscles push on that lens and then the lens bulges out, increasing its curvature and thereby increasing the optical power. This is called as accommodation. Now imagine if we lost the power of accommodation. Imagine if our lens lost, our, lost its elasticity. What would happen then? Well, if you're looking at things far away, our eyes will be relaxed, no problems here. But when things come close by, now we have problems bulging this lens. Because the lens has lost its elasticity, it has become hard. Now the lens will not bulge, It'll, it's hard to push it, and as a result, it will the optical power will not increase. And as a result, the rays of light will not bend enough, and so it will not focus on the retina. And that's why, due to this, we will not be able to see things which are close by. So the cause for presbyopia is the loss of accommodation power. On the other hand, if you're dealing with hypermetropia, or even myopia for that, for that matter, that is not due to accommodation. There, accommodation, is, it has nothing to do with accommodation. Those, those conditions are due to abnormal shape of the eyeball itself, of the eyeball itself, or, or the abnormal shape of the eye lens. And we've spoken about this in great detail in a previous video. So if you need more clarity on that, then it'll be a great idea to go back and watch that video and come back over here. But in short, presbyopia is due to some, is, is related to accommodation, whereas myopia and hypermetropia are related to the abnormal shapes of the eyeball and the lens. Another difference between presbyopia and the other two is how you even get these defects. Myopia and hypermetropia are found to be pretty genetic. It also depends upon the environment you're in. So you may or may never get myopia or even hypermetropia in your life. That's totally possible. But presbyopia is almost unavoidable for most people. You see, presbyopia has nothing to do with your genetics or anything. Even though your eyes are perfectly normal in the young age, as one enters into their 40s or mid 40s, we slowly start losing the elasticity of our eye lens. And eventually even the ciliary muscles that you know carry out accommodation, that tends to wear out. And so how do we correct them? Well, to correct it, we need to provide extra optical power, extra converging power when you are looking at things close by. And that's what these bifocals do. This lens over here, which is at the bottom of the glass, this, this is actually inverted. This is the bottom when you wear it. So this lens, which is near the bottom, is a converging lens. So this is converging, converging lens, providing the extra optical power which is needed over here when things are close by. And the reason it's, 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 pro it's provided at the bottom is because whenever we are looking at things close by, like when we're reading something, our eyes usually tend to be towards the bottom, right? When you're reading something, think about it. And if you're looking at things far away, then we'll be using this part of the glasses, right? When you're looking straight 
uh, straight ahead. So this part of the glass is used to correct any defects we might have for distant vision. So for example, if we have say myopia as well, then this part of the glass will correct myopia. But if you don't have any other defect, then we don't require any optical support here. Then this glass will not do anything, it'll just be flat. And so that's how bifocals are useful in correcting both presbyopia and any other defects that our eyes might have related to distant vision. And by the way, these bifocal glasses are pretty outdated today. They are replaced by what is called progressive glasses. So in progressive glasses, the difference is we don't have two distinct lenses as you can see over here. You have one single lens whose curvature keeps changing progressively. So at the bottom, the curvature meets the demands of presbyopia. And as we go towards the top, the curvature meets the demands for distant vision, maybe myopia or any other problems related to distant vision.